Elon Musk to launch insane new telescope 100 times better than James Webb. Hey everyone, welcome back to Elon Musk Planet and today we have a really exciting update for you. Elon Musk just announced that he's going to be launching a brand new telescope called the Nancy Grace Roman Telescope. Not only is it 100 times better than James Webb, but it will also allow us to see objects that are currently out of our reach. So, what are you waiting for? Click that like button and subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all the latest Elon Musk and space news. Elon Musk recently announced that he's planning to build a much better telescope than the James Webb Telescope. Dubbed the Nancy Grace Roman Telescope, it will be 100 times more powerful than James Webb and be able to see farther into space. Some people are excited by this news, while others are concerned about the cost and whether or not it's even feasible. So, who's right? And what does this mean for the future of astronomy? NASA gave a new contract to Elon Musk's space company, SpaceX, to launch the Nancy Grace Roman Telescope on July 19th. SpaceX is progressing in rocket launches and landings and beaming the internet from space. Recently, NASA revealed that SpaceX will receive $255 million to launch its upcoming space telescope. Launching in October 2026, the 2.4-meter diameter Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will be the first operational space telescope. The telescope must be launched using SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket, according to the contract. The $255 million comprises of launch services and additional pertinent costs. Following the $10 billion James Webb Telescope mission, which was launched into space in December to look for early galaxies and potentially habitable planets, comes the Roman Telescope mission. After taking two weeks to unfold independently in space, the 6.5-meter Webb Telescope has already recorded vivid images of young stars and old galaxies. According to NASA, the Roman Telescope will be launched into space in less than five years to study galaxies, exoplanets, dark energy, and dark matter. Exoplanets are planets that orbit stars outside of our solar system. According to the organization, this will make it easier for scientists to understand the cosmological mysteries. According to NASA, the telescope should remain in orbit for five years with the possibility of an additional five-year mission. The Wide Field Infrared Survey Telescope was renamed after Dr. Nancy Grace Roman in honor of her efforts at NASA, according to the organization. NASA also reported that the Falcon Heavy rocket, billed by SpaceX as the world's most powerful rocket, will carry the Roman telescope into space. According to SpaceX's website, the craft, which made its first airborne flight in 2018, has three reusable boosters and has the capacity to launch nearly 64 tons into orbit. Multiple award quantity contracts, known as NLS2 contracts, include a performance window that extends through December 2027 and an ordering window that runs through June 2025. The NLS-2 on-ramp option gives existing launch service providers the opportunity to deploy launch vehicles not currently covered by their NLS-2 contracts and gives new launch service providers the opportunity to compete annually for future missions. Roman will be the next large or flagship astrophysics mission after the James Webb Telescope JWST. It will feature a spacecraft that has a 2.4-meter primary mirror, donated to NASA a decade ago by the National Reconnaissance Reconnaissance Office, with a wide field instrument and a coronagraph to conduct research in cosmology, exoplanets, and general astrophysics, according to NASA. The science program for the telescope will involve specialized research to address open cosmological concerns, such as the impacts of dark energy and dark matter, as well as exoplanet exploration. In order to facilitate additional research on astrophysical phenomena and achieve other scientific objectives, Roman also includes a sizable general investigator program, according to the space agency. The project will launch no later than May 2027 from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida and has a total lifespan mission cost of $4.32 which is almost half that of James Webb. 
SpaceX's massive rocket with three boosters demonstrated its prowess when it famously sent Musk's cherry red Tesla Roadster with a dummy astronaut in the driver's seat toward the asteroid belt in 2018. The telescope's intended L2 orbit is 1 million miles from Earth and is roughly four times further than the Moon. So, what is the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope? The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, popularly known as RST, is the top priority big space project endorsed by the 2010 Astronomy and Astrophysics Decadal Survey. The Decadal Survey, which occurs every 10 years, surprise, surprise, in the United States, evaluates astronomy and astrophysics literature written in the previous 10 years and makes suggestions for the coming decade. The telescope, formerly known as the Wide Field Infrared Survey Telescope WFIRST, was later renamed in honor of Dr. Nancy Grace Roman, the first female executive at NASA for her exceptional work, which prepared the way for huge space telescopes. The barrel-shaped telescope, which resembles Hubble, is also known as the mother of Hubble. Nancy Grace Roman, who served as NASA's first chief of astronomy in the 1960s and 70s, was the organization's first female executive and had a major influence on the Hubble Space Telescope's development. She had numerous scientific publications, including one on the basic structure of galaxies that the Astrophysical Journal listed as one of the top 100 scientific works of the 20th century. Roman created a variety of initiatives throughout her time at NASA, organized their scientific participation, and established the programs themselves. Roman was actually the only person to accept or reject ideas for NASA astronomy programs based on their merit and her own knowledge before peer review was introduced and brought in outside experts. According to the Annual Review of Astronomy and Physics, in 1963, when only men were allowed to join the astronaut corps, Roman stated in a lecture that, I believe that there will be women astronauts sometime, just as there are women aviation pilots. The management of the SpaceX launch will be handled by NASA's Launch Services Program at the Kennedy Space Center. With its Falcon 9 rocket scheduled to transport another batch of Starlink broadband satellites to orbit in July 2022, SpaceX, which is averaging more than one launch per week, has already matched last year's record for the overall number of successful launches in July. In statements with the Federal Communications Commission, Musk's company also disclosed that during the enormous rocket's first orbital flight, it may undertake a risky maneuver involving the use of chopstick arms and a launch tower to grab its returning Starship booster. The Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland is in charge of overseeing the Roman Space Telescope project. According to a blog post by NASA, the telescope's mission will involve specialized investigations to address a number of unanswered cosmological concerns, such as the impacts of dark energy and dark matter, which scientists still understand little about, and the search for exoplanets. Roman also has a general investigator program that enables further research into astrophysical phenomena in order to achieve other, as yet unnamed, science objectives. RST has two principal instruments on its 2.4-meter primary mirror. The Wide Field Instrument, a 300-megapixel camera system, will aid in the production of breathtaking near-infrared NIR photographs, the equivalent of being able to see which way a firefly is facing in a photo taken from a distance of 10 miles. This is useful for reliable observations for implementing the dark energy, exoplanet microlensing, and near-infrared NIR surveys, according to NASA. A spectrograph is another key chronograph instrument that aids in determining the chemical constituents of substances. This device is a technical demonstration for imaging exoplanets directly. The next flagship telescope will aid in the understanding of the impacts of dark energy and dark matter, as well as the exploration of exoplanets. The mysterious dark matter and dark energy account for around 95% of the cosmos. The remaining 5% of what we see and observe on Earth and beyond is made up of stuff. NASA said in a statement, Roman also includes a substantial general investigator program to enable further studies of astrophysical phenomena to advance other science goals. Roman vs. James Webb vs. Hubble Satellites 
While it is the same size as the Hubble Space Telescope's main mirror, it weighs less than one-fourth as much, 186 kilograms. In a single photo, Roman will be able to record a region 100 times greater than Hubble. RST gains the potential to conduct wide-field surveys at space-based resolution, which will be the observatory's principal operational mode as a result of this. RST, unlike JWST and Hubble, is a survey mission that will collect mountains of data for future studies. The Hubble Space Telescope, which debuted in 1990 and is still in service today, generated 172 terabytes of data by 2020. JWST, on the other hand, will generate 1,000 terabytes during its five-year primary mission. However, RST is projected to gather 20,000 terabytes of data over its five-year primary mission, which is 20 times the data generated by James Webb. In a July 29, 2022 article, NASA quoted Nancy Levinson, Deputy Director of the Space Telescope Science Institute, one of the institutes developing the telescope, as saying, we are developing novel tools and new ways of working so the global research community can make best use of the advanced capabilities of this survey-oriented big data space mission. So there you have it, great people. Are you excited about what this new telescope may find? Please let us know in the comments section. If you found this video helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to Elon Musk Planet for more content like this.